Hi everyone! Welcome back to Recruiter.com's video series, Recruiter Tips and Tricks. Today we're going to be talking about starting a new job. So you went through the application process, maybe you went through a few interviews, and you finally got that job, which is great. Um, but, however, there's a lot of changes that you might be going through when you first get a new job. It's a new environment to work in, new management, a new boss, new rules, and new peers that you're working by. So a lot of this can be kind of stressful and kind of hard to really get used to when you're starting your new job. So what can you do to make sure that you're getting used to your work environment and starting off on the right foot? We have three tips for you today on how to start your new job and what you should do when you first get in your new role. Here are our tips. Tip number one, you want to do your research. So really try to find out what your company's mission statement is, what their goals are, maybe what their quarterly, yearly, three-year, five-year plan is, because this not only helps you get accustomed to what they're trying to work towards, what their values are, but it also helps you see how you can fit into the environment of the company and how you can make a difference. You can see what their mission is and see how your skills can fit into that mission and how you can really push the company forward as an employee. This is not only proactive and really impressive for an employer to see, but again, it just makes you get used to the environment that you're about to work in. Tip number two, you want to be curious. Not only do you want to observe what's going on around you, whether it's how your employees act, the whole company culture as a whole, but you want to ask questions as well. Always ask questions to your boss, don't be afraid to be curious and ask questions to your peers, and just see how everything is running throughout the day, how everything flows on a daily basis. You know, how do people act towards each other? Is it free to walk around and chat every once in a while? What is the entire vibe of the place that you're about to work in? Being curious helps you, again, really fit in and see how the company culture is and the environment is so that you can become a part of the team easily and really start off on the right foot. Tip number three we have is to start to build your relationships, especially with your boss. So you want to build relationships by being as outgoing as possible and talking to fellow employees, maybe seeing what they're doing after work or seeing if you guys can really get to know each other. But you also want to make a strong relationship with your boss because that's who you're going to be working with for, you know, X amount of time in the future. So you want to see if you can bond on a few things, if you can talk freely with them, really feel them out as an employer and see what they expect of you as an employee, and just start to build that relationship piece by piece. Because again, this is a very important relationship. The relationship with your boss can be you know, amazing for your future or detrimental for your future. So you want to make sure that you're starting to build this awesome relationship from day one. All in all, starting a new job is exciting, it's fun, and it's not something to be scared of. But there is a lot of change to deal with. So you want to make sure that you're doing all that you can to really become a great employee for this corporation and to you know, start off on the right foot and really make a change starting from your first day on the job. Thank you for joining us today. Be sure to stay tuned on Recruiter.com and our Twitter at Recruiter.com for more videos coming your way.